in India, almost about 25 to 30 thousand children are born deaf every year. The causes for deafness may be due to a lot of maternal infections which, they, which the females get during pregnancy or they take a lot of drugs. And uh, the cochlea, which is the main organ of hearing, can go arrest at some stage of the pregnancy. And these children are generally born deaf. Now, these children who are born deaf, generally the parents come to know when the children or the infants, they don't respond to sound. And these children, these parents then go to the ENT surgeon and get their audiology checkup done. Nowadays in India with the latest advanced technologies and good companies we can do uh, on birth screening with the help of autoacoustic emission which can detect the outer hair cells of the cochlea whether they are functioning. If these tests are little suspicious or they fail then what we plan is a pure audiogram, a brainstem evoked response audiometry or you know ASSR auditory steady state response and the child is diagnosed to be suffering from a profound hearing loss that is when the hearing loss is more than 90 percent and the main culprit is the cochlea which is the main organ of hearing these parents are generally counseled then for a surgery which is called as a cochlear implantation in which a surgery in which an implant is put inside the cochlea through a surgery it has got two parts one is the implant part which goes inside through a surgery and the outer part which is the external component which you call as a receiver stimulator which generally pick up sound signals and transmit across the skin with the help of a magnetic coil and electrical sound signals are generated into the cochlea which stimulates the cochlear nerve when the sound signal go to the brain and the child hears. We had operated this child, uh, a nine-year-old child and he had prelingual profound deafness. He uh, we underwent few battery of audiology tests and found to suffer from a profound hearing loss. We did the CT scans which showed that the inside the cochlea and everything were normal. The child was planned for a bilateral simultaneous cochlear implantation. Underwent switch on after about 7 days. The scars got completely healed and then the patient was subjected to a rigorous speech therapy program and the child is improving well. He could not hear but now is able to hear completely from both sides from anywhere from any sound anywhere in the environment and is able to speak few words. Baba, mummy. Generally, all children with, without cochlear implantation generally communicate through sign language. They use sign language to work and to talk to different people. We advise parents, if they cannot afford cochlear implant, to use digital advanced hearing aids which helps in picking up sound signal. They might not understand but then the concept of brain plasticity or the nerve plasticity remains. Good quality hearing aids with a good speech therapy with an audiologist and an auditory verbal therapist do prepare these children for a future cochlear implantation. The earliest uh, age which we can implant nowadays is about 11 months and the best results are expected in 2 to 3 years. However, we have done implants in children as uh, old as about 19 years where these children were using hearing aids since birth and undergoing therapy. So these are convert candidates. Mm -hmm.